But welcome back in to more Crash Team Rumble here on Twitch and YouTube. We're going to try out Cat Bat because that's what the people want. And we got to give the people what they want. And they want Cat Bat. Let's use our special retro thing that we got from the Deluxe Edition. Yeah. I'm going to go hatless here. Oh, we have nobody in the lobby right now. <laughs> I guess we'll wait. How about, uh... How about Oppenheimer, though? The movie was awesome for what you saw, though. I mean, you would recommend. But what, what if it was part of the experience? <laughs> Maybe it was. So I saw... I've been... I've seen, like, more movies in the past, like... month than I probably have in like a year I'm not even kidding I saw the new Insidious I saw Haunted Mansion and I saw Turtles that's it's three movies I know it's nothing but to me that's a lot because I don't usually go to the movies and I'm planning on going to see the new Mission Impossible as well because Jesse really wants to see that so we're gonna go no entropy no entropy yet Apparently nobody's playing. This is great. Where are the people at? This is not good. I mean, it is an odd hour, but still. Haunted Mansion was a definitely like a it was a weird release for the summer. I guess they wanted it to be a summer blockbuster. That was the best movie I saw out of the three, was The Haunted Mansion. As much as I liked the Turtles movie, I gotta say Haunted Mansion was better. I loved Haunted Mansion. People are probably gonna rip it, it's probably gonna get shredded. It might not even do that good in the theaters, but I personally loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought the cast had really good chemistry, it was funny. Uh, it just, there was like, surprisingly kind of dramatic parts in it that I wasn't, you know, de like deaf to some of the characters. Um, so yeah, it was, it was good. It was really good. I hope this game didn't die already. Here we are. This is going to make for a great beginning of another episode on YouTube, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to get out of this lobby and try a different one. It's not doing good. People on Twitter are confused why it wasn't released in October, basically. I mean, I get that. It would have been better in October, but still, it's like... Horror movies can come out anytime, and it's not even like... It's not scary, at least not to me. Dude, we can't be the only two people playing the game right now. This ain't cool. Yeah, I don't think Haunted Mansion is going to do good because also you have Barbie and Oppenheimer out and now Turtles coming out. So it's right in the mix of all these other big franchise movies coming out and it's just like Haunted Mansion is not going to do as well, unfortunately. I don't even know if Turtles is going to do that good, honestly. Like, I hope it does, but I don't know. Like, movies are tough to, to nail now. Like, Indiana Jones flopped. So anything can flop at this point. But well, however they do, I enjoyed I enjoyed uh, Haunted Mansion for what it was. You know, people can say it sucks all they want or whatever. I don't know. I quite enjoyed it. This is bad though. It's pretty late. It is late. Justice for Haunted Mansion. I know. Haunted Mansion is great. Have any more televised critics? Oh yeah, like Ghost says, there's a lot of like movie critics that used to be like who decides like what's like deciding whether a movie or anything, any kind of art, it's objective, right? Whether it's good or not, like it's people's opinion. Like because a critic says, "Oh, this movie sucks," don't see it. But it could be somebody else's like favorite movie of the year. 
That's why it's like you always have to try things for yourself. Critics are just, they'll find any reason to pick apart something because it's their job to critique something, right? It's their job to do that, to find things they don't like and to be controversial. I don't do that. Play with bots. I guess, I mean, we're going to have to. We are going to have to. Train. You don't get experience, right, for playing against the bots. I mean, thank goodness you can at least do practice matches to play. All right, and we get to pick our level, too, so we can go. I feel like Surreal Summit's probably a good level to start. All right, let's try Cat Bat practice. The Muppet Critics? Yeah, <laughs> I remember them. They were great. Yeah, that's what people do. Like, they just, you know. Like, even, it's even people's jobs to critique games. Like, I critique games, but I don't, I don't necessarily rate them. You guys know that. It's not my job to critique them either. I'm just doing this. I just give my honest opinion about something. That's all. People can take that for what it is. But I, I always encourage people to... Whoa, he's got like four or five jumps. To, you know, do things for yourself. Try things for yourself. Whether I say it's good or not, you know. Oh, that's the move that always hits me. Whoa. What, what did I just throw? What was that? I kind of like Catbat's jumping ability here. Can I throw a burger? What does that do? You critique Zero all the time. Tough love, but I gotta do it for the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> it's only gonna make me stronger. They rebated Jumanji bad back then? Oh, come on. Jumanji with Robin Williams is like, it's a classic. That's what I'm saying. Like audience, a lot of time like audience reviews are way different from cri uh, critics, you know? Critics will pick like some random ass boring movie is like, movie of the year. And you're like, what is this? And the audience would be like, no, 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 it's this movie, the you know, the more popular one or whatever. I don't know. So it's all opinion. Always like consider people's opinions and respect them. That's how I, that's how I see things. Like definitely respect people's opinions and like their you know their take on things, but don't think it has to be. You know what you think of it obviously like you're always going to think differently and don't maybe let it determine you determine whether you're going to check something out or not like even mine like my opinions like like just because i like enjoy a game i love a game or i recommend something it's just i'm just trying to recommend something it doesn't mean people are necessarily going to like it You wish someone would throw me a burger anytime? Yeah, that'd be great, huh? What does this do? Does it heal? Does it heal my teammates or something? It's actually pretty sick if it does. Meets is throwing me a burger right now. Here we go. It's amazing how much easier this is when I'm not playing online. Like, I'm just chilling. We're up by like a thousand points, and I'm barely even paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> mm. 
Alright, Scooby Snack. I need to do... What do I have? Fruit Snacks? Do I have... Oh, I do. Okay. So I have some more Fruit Snacks here. I love that movie too, Ghost House. I don't care what anybody says. Batman Robin from 1997. Absolute classic. That's probably... Honestly? That's probably my favorite Batman movie. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> It's so awesomely great. Like, bad, but awesome. Like, awesome at the same time. Jimmy's burger is good. Burger is definitely good. No, I want a burger. Alright, let's go to Just Beachy. So, Cat Bat's considered a scorer, though. I really think Cat Bat could be a good support character, you know? Come in with the flying attacks to help fight. And then, you know, you throw the burger in to help heal your teammates while like, gathering some wampas. I think I'm going to like Cat Bat. Like more of like a support kind of cast. Maybe not going to put up... Is Cat Bat a girl or maybe he doesn't... Maybe Cat Bat doesn't even have a sex. I don't know. It don't matter, but Cabat might be a pretty good score. They can hold 120 Wampas, so I mean, they are listed as a score. Certain PS1 games, you could play them on a CD. What, really? I didn't know that. Burgers, everybody's getting burgers, I know, and I'm playing online, I'm gonna be throwing burgers all over the place. What do you want on yours? Cheese? Tomatoes? Hold the pickles? Bacon? Mayonnaise? Bar how about a barbecue burger for you, sir? Oh, and it hurts them. Oh, that's great. So I have like a projectile. It has a cooldown period, but hurts them, heals my teammates. I love that. This is your Mondo Burger. It's good burger for us, Mondo Burger for them. Have a Mondo Burger day. Anybody else excited for good burger too? <laughs> you can hear Batman's theme. Oh, really? PS1 Casper game on a CD player? Which Casper one on PS1? I have one on PS1. I think I have Casper and friends around the world. Streamed it actually in October. It was kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, it was okay. It was like a very simple 2D platformer, but it wasn't great. It's better than Cat in the Hat. That's for sure. Total Recall and stuff. Yeah, they announced there's a second movie. It's in production right now. Keenan and Cal coming back. I think some of the other actors are coming back too. Good Burger 2 is happening. They went on like a talk show talking about it, I guess, too. That's all I know. All I know is that it's happening. They've been promoting it a bit. I don't know all the actors. I think... What's her name? Lori something might be coming back. I think one of the other crew members of Good Burger is coming back too. So I don't know. They haven't revealed all the surprises. It's a fine object game and a puzzle game. So a little like puzzle type of experience on that one. Dude, mine too. I, I loved Keenan and Cal. Good Burger is like one of my favorite like comedy feel-good movies ever. I, I own Good Burger on DVD. I absolutely love that movie. I haven't watched it in a while though. I definitely need to. Like, no, like you could put on Good Burger and it just makes you happy. It doesn't even matter. Like, you just put it on. You're always gonna enjoy it. It's one of those movies that just doesn't get old. Yeah, now I need to watch it again. 
I'm gonna go to like In N Out, grab some burgers, and then watch Good Burger. I'm a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude, cause we're all dudes, yay! Yeah. But you maneuver throughout the mansion, then you do puzzles within it. So it's like a 2D, like a 3D game. Or no, a 2, 2D, you're walking 2D, but in like a 3D space kind of thing. Morph into different objects, interesting. What a game. There was never a good burger video game though, I don't think. I mean, if there was, I probably would, would have owned it already. Look how relaxed this is against bots. Like, I'm not even stressing over anything. I'm just like cruising around singing like, I'm a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude. Was it Interactive that did that one? I remember Interactive. They did like a lot of stuff on like PS1 and 64 days. But yeah, I don't, I don't know when the release date for Good Burger is. I don't know if it's this year or like next year maybe. Hey, look at that. Hey, good job, Leon, on the defense. Ambrose with 140% on the... No things. Alright, let's try to get back into a game, I guess. The cabinet's pretty cool. Like, we get to practice. This is going to be the worst episode of Crash Team Rumble, though, guys. It really is. If we can't even get on an online match, it's going to be disappointing. Keenan and Cal was such a great show too, although I haven't watched much of that in a while. All that, like, I saw some of that. I didn't really watch too much of it. I did like it though. I definitely watched, like, Are You Afraid of the Dark, I think, on Nickelodeon. I mean, Nickelodeon had all, like, that was, like, the channel back in the day. You had Doug. Yeah, you know, Rugrats and all that. Like, all the cartoons that were so good. Plus, like, Legend of the Hidden Temple. All with, like, Keenan and Cal. I mean, it was just the spot for us. That's why I love, like, any Nickelodeon-themed games, too. Because it, like, kind of brings you back to that era of, like, the 90s. It was just, like... <laughs> it, was just, it was just different back then. The 90s were just so... So different from, from today. Kids these days will never know the 90s. And my camera is freaking out again. Are you talking about the Casper? No, you're talking about a different Casper game. Not the one I have. Casper Feeks haven't tried to get your attention by saying, Hey! Hey there! Notice me. I have two Casper games. One's on PS2. I think the one on PS2 is called like Spirit Dimensions. I haven't tried that one yet. But we, we did a full playthrough of the uh, Casper and Friends on PS1. I said the game was okay. Like it wasn't the worst thing, but it wasn't great either. I don't think we're going to get into a legitimate match. Like this is silly. It like, makes me sad Like that this game doesn't have the player base it needs. Like Toys for Bob need to desperately reach out to Activision Xbox and be like, listen, we need this game on Game Pass. We also need this game on PC. So we can get the player base up. Otherwise, it's going to die. We're in another lobby with one person again. Like, I would play with bots and one other person. Like, that's fine. <laughs> as long as I get my experience and get to play. Like, the practice matches are alright, but they're, like, kind of easy. And you don't get anything for it. You just... It's just, like, practice. That's what it is. Bum, bum. 
We'll see if anybody. We'll give it a minute or two. See if anybody comes into the lobby. And uh, I mean, it, oh, it's already four o'clock. Oh my gosh, where did the time go tonight? Goodness me, four o'clock. <laughs> oh, my sleep schedule's not getting any better. Let's see what this is. But uh, tomorrow is most likely AEW and hopefully Double Dragon Gaiden. That's the game. Oh, Casper Haunting 3D Challenge. Okay. Yeah, that's not the one I have, Ghost, but I have seen that one in stores. I've seen that one in stores. That was in one of the game shops I was in before. We keep getting one person in. If all the people that we keep getting in the rooms with all teamed up in one room, we'd actually get into a match. You love that game? Yeah, that one looks more based on the movie than than the one I have. The, the Casper games I have just are based on Casper, like the cartoon or something. Because I love the Casper movie, man. Like uh, The one with Christina Ricci and Bill Pullman. Freaking love that movie. That's another classic right there. I'm pretty sure Christina Ricci was one of my first celebrity crutches when I was young. <laughs> I was like, I was probably one of them just because of that movie. A little old mini me watching it rich millionaire turns into a ghost oh yeah so that's based right on straight off the movie <laughs> hi this is this is this is very sad this is very sad crash team rumbles a dying game already it can't be I love this game. Where's the other Casper game? Let me pull some other random games to show you guys that I haven't played. I'm sorry, this is not entertaining right now. I might have to just do some more practice with Cat Bat. That's all we can do tonight in this. Speaking of Nickelodeon, here's a Rugrats game I have I haven't tried yet. Scavenger Hunt. We haven't streamed this one for the N64. I think it's like a Mario Party type of game. The Rugrats by THQ. I'll have to do that one. So that's the, two, the other two. Because the other Rugrats game is really fun. The Paris one. I actually, that game was, that was, was pretty cool. Search for Raptar. Or Reptar, whatever his name is. Yeah, I know you. That's on like the PS1, right? That's, I think that's the one Jesse remembers playing. Here's some Dreamcast stuff I've, I haven't played. Uh, Heavy Metal Geo Matrix. Here's a Capcom game. This one I have not tried yet. It is a 3D fighting game with heavy metal in it. So I don't know. I might have to mute the music if I were to stream this game. Includes Megadeth, Dust to Dust, Halford, and more. Music. Uh, 
probably fun. I mean, it's a Capcom game, too. So it was in, like, a bundle I bought off eBay. Along with this game, Draconis Cult of the Worm on the Dreamcast. Uh, I don't even know what type of game this is, which is kind of exciting. It's like... Some, there's a few games in my library that I don't really know, even know what type of game they are. And I'm trying to keep it that way. Like, I don't even, I purposely don't look up gameplay footage of some of the games. Because I kind of want to be surprised when I put it in for the first time. There's like a few PS2 games or something that I have no idea what they're going to be like. So, when I put them in, including like a game like this, Draconis, I don't know what type of game this is going to be. It looks cool. I don't know if it's going to be like an RPG, an action-adventure game. Uh, you know, some kind of dungeon crawling thing. I don't know. That's good. That's what makes it makes it exciting, you know. You don't really know. You got something in your, in your library that can surprise you. I think I got a few other games like that, too. There's one I have on the PS2 called Kaya Dark Lineage or something. Or Kia Dark Lineage, however it's pronounced. I don't even know what type of game that is. It looks like it's probably a standard PS2 like action game. It could be a platformer. I don't really know. But it looks I like the cover. I was like it was really cheap. I also picked this one up uh, pretty recently as well. Cuz this was also very cheap. WCW NWO Thunder for the PlayStation 1. Uh, this is actually by THQ, so the people that did, you know, all the No Mercy, all the N64 ones. This one was uh, not released on the N64, at least I don't think it was. So it was nice to see this. And now we got a wrestling game on the PS1. This is my first wrestling game on there. It's got a good roster on this game. And my wrestling collection of games continues to grow. You're blown away by P.E. Wait, what was P.E.? Do, 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 do. This is lame. Let's get out of this. Like, sorry guys. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. Oh, Parasite Eve. Yeah, yeah. I've seen some of that game. That game looks really good. Like, that's a crazy game. It's a horror RPG. Like, you don't really see that often. That's a really expensive game. Like, actually. If I were to look that up right now, let's look it up. I, I, I just want to see, just for, I'm guessing it's going to be around 175 to $200. I'm going to say somewhere within that range for a legit copy of Parasite Eve on the PS1. Like a complete copy. Let's take a look. Let's do our eBay. And now it's time for our eBay lookup. Brought to you by eBay. Parasite Eve, PlayStation 1. Complete. Buy now. Well, I was wrong. I was way off. Admittedly, I was way off about Parasite Eve. It is not 175 to 200 dollars. It is less than a hundred. Some people are selling it for like 75 ish. Somebody's selling it for 60 without the manual. Wow, I thought that game was going to be super expensive. Now, the second one's a little more pricey. The first one's around 70 to 80. The second one's up near 100. Wow, okay. I, I thought that game was going to be really, really expensive. Right, let's get more cat bat practice, I guess. So at least we're doing something here. Wasn't there somebody else streaming this game? Aren't they playing? <laughs> what, what lobby are they in? 
Is anybody else streaming? I'll have to look and see if anybody else is streaming this right now. Probably not, because nobody really does. Yeah, behind the case. I have seen it behind the case before, but it didn't have a price on it. Exactly. It's one of those games they put behind the case. You have to ask to see it. Because I have seen it in a game shop, but there was no price on it. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to afford it right then. I would. That would be a cool game to get. Have a burger. I want the KO. How dare you? I have to like aim that thing. Don't stop running away from me. Charlie. Charlie. Damn it, Charlie. Silent Hill 2 is very pricey, yeah. That one will cost you some money. 3 is even worse. I'm lucky I got Silent Hill 2 when it was... Wow, before like all the prices went crazy. I think I still have the receipt for my Silent Hill 2. I should see. I think it was like... I think I played less than $40 for it. And this, we're talking black label... Complete in box in like great condition when I bought it. Not to go see, I think I have. You have Silent Hill 3? Dang. Like, do you have, you have it on PS2 or is it like part of the Silent Hill collection? Which one do you have? Because you have a legit copy of Silent Hill 3. That. That's going for like two fifty to three hundred dollars. That's an expensive ass game. That's a dream buy for me too. Like, that's the Sound Hill game I want the most too that I don't have. I have two, four, downpour, shattered memories. I don't have one or three or origins. Origins looks pretty cool. Oh, I don't have uh, Homecoming either. I used to own Homecoming. Three hundred thirty-six points right there. That's a crazy amount of points. What's up, Death Seeker? How you doing? Parasite Eve 2 is a, is a blast, so the second one's better, said Death Seeker. Yeah, those games look great. You have original uh, Silent Hill 3 with the music CD. Oh my gosh, Ghost. That's... That's awesome, dude. That's... You could... That thing is worth a lot. Like, I'm talking hundreds of dollars. How's your main bat doing? Ah, uh, trying to try out, uh, cat bat. Liking it so far. Although I have to play against bots because I can't get into a legitimate match right now. Because there's nobody playing. So I'm just practicing until I can level up later. But yeah, I like cat bat's movement. The burger move. Definitely could be used as a scorer and a support character. Yes. I kill someone with a burger. Huh. Have that. It's a Mondo burger. Again with the fridge. <laughs> I 
Ooh, we beat bots again. Yay. So fun. Probably gonna call it soon, guys, because we can't even get into a legit match either. I've been streaming a while tonight. Ah, let's do another one. We'll go to... I guess we'll go to Bogtown. We'll get more used to this one. Everybody play. This map shows up a lot now. Like, if I see teammates, like, fighting a group of other enemies, I can throw in burgers to help out. And then do, like, my home homing move, too. Which will be good. Catbat loves the Wampa Fruit, too. 120. One, two, three. Four jumps. That's crazy. One, two, three. Four. I can get off, get across everything. Like that, I can pick up those. One, two, three, four. Look at that. You can drop down and get those. One, two, three, four. I'm the Wampa Bat. You like this new map? I'm liking it, definitely. It's a little small, but it's got a good design to it, I guess. Otherwise, it's fun. It's fun. I'm, I'm all for new maps coming in. The more the barrier. More characters, more maps. But what we need more than anything is more players. Why am I trying to score 36 points? What a waste. I don't need the bubbles. Oh, we'll have that. Try to get us the Wampa Bat. Everybody dying in there. Calm down there, Jerry, or whoever you are. A little meeting of the minds over here. Have a burger. My AI teammates are really like ganging up on them. They're like, you're not touching our Wampa Bat. Really aggressive there. What are you gonna do about it, Glenn? I'm gonna kill you with the burger. I'm gonna kill you with the burger. Yes! That's what I call a burger well done. There we go.
Playing some defense here with Cat Bat. There we go. I mean, it isn't as exciting against bots, is it? But at least you can play matches against bots. It's better than nothing, I guess. If this was an online only experience, then you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't be able to do anything right now. All right, one more attempt to try and get into some real matches. If that doesn't work, we're gonna call it a night. Cause it is very, very late and uh, we're gonna try to stream tomorrow. We'll try to upload some more stuff tomorrow as well. Boom, 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 boom. It is 4.21 in the morning. Weird. How about you? <laughs> My sleep schedule's been screwed up for like two weeks now, I feel like. <laughs> but it's fine. One thirty in the afternoon. Oh, that's right. You're in a. Australia? Close. Germany. Oh, Germany. Oh, cool. Very nice. I've had a viewer who's watched me from Germany. Uh, they might even lurk in here sometimes. I don't know. Sparky, if you're watching this at any point, Sparky, I'm talking about you. Uh, they they would come in a lot and watch, watch like VODs and lurk and stuff and chat sometimes. Uh, they were from, they're from Germany too. That's cool. Another person from Germany. Very, very awesome. Look at this, I can't get into a match tonight. I haven't been able to get into one legitimate match for the first time ever going to play this game. I haven't been able to get into one. I know, like I said, it's a very odd hour, but you know, even in Europe, it's the afternoon. Maybe people there would be playing, but I don't know. If, this is probably just matching me against people in my region, so it's just not happening. Your recommended page is full of Canadians and Americans. <laughs> You're like, I might as well just go with it, right? At this point. You might as well. You're like, I know I watch like some Canadian YouTubers too. At like times I'm like, oh, you know, it's cool. Like I don't even care where people are from. If they got good content or they're cool, like I'll watch them. Like I used to watch this YouTuber who was, I think he was from Germany actually come to think of it he did like fifa videos i'm not even a big fifa fan but for some reason i liked watching his videos this was like before i started streaming i forget what was his name he was like pretty big too he had like thousands and thousands of, of subs but he had such like he had a thick accent it was cool i am pretty sure it was germany i'm in the states the united states I appreciate that. I'm nice. I try to be. You know, I try to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody in here. Yeah, I'm from the States. Are we actually going to get a match? I just... We might actually get a match here. That's crazy. Deathseeker brought us some good luck here, I guess. Like, I have... People that have watched me from Australia, uh, Argentina, people have mentioned, uh, you know, England, Brazil, like all over, like different places. It's Somebody said like hi from Tokyo once or from Japan. I was like, oh, that's cool. Calling in the bots. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to have 
a bot or two on the teams. That's fine. I just want to play a legit match, get some get some cat bat experience under our belt. Restless is from uh, Australia. Restless Blue. That's cool. Yeah, I think it's like that's one of the cool things about doing Twitch and YouTube is meeting people from places you might not ever even go to or otherwise have a chance to talk to people from. I was like, hey, that's cool. You connect like you're going to do people all over the world. In fact, I, I look at my, sometimes I look at my demographic on YouTube of like where, like what countries my views are coming from. I think Philippines was on there as like some, so I thought that was cool too. I was like, oh wow, like people from the Philippines are, are watching me a little bit here and there, somehow. Get away from me. Some more points here. Oh yeah, we got bots in our team or something. I don't know. This other cat bats after me. Look at this. For YouTube is mostly Brazil and Poland, but you're doing dance videos, so it makes sense. Oh yeah. There you go. Brazil and Poland. That's cool. So you do like dance videos on, on YouTube. I am like the world's worst dancer. <laughs> like really. If you want to see the most awkward thing in the world. Probably me dancing. I usually only do it when I'm like drunk or at least tipsy. Because <laughs> then at that point I feel like I'm good at dancing. Because I'm drunk. I don't know any better. I'm like, oh, I'm awesome at this. No, I'm not. I almost forgot I'm playing it against like legitimate people here and not bots. We're gonna lose, aren't we? I don't think we got anybody on the team playing defense. I'll grab these. Nobody's playing defense. Come on. Can't be me. I just got us the Spirit Guardian, then we did. Techno Hard Step Shuffle Step. Wow. A lot of people uh, can be good dancers. They just need confidence. And as you said, alcohol is giving you confidence to do so. That's true. Like one time I got like... <laughs> I got pretty drunk. I was, I was like hanging out with a friend or like two friends. And we were having... Uh, we were drinking. It was like one in the morning, summertime. We made a fire in, in the driveway. We had like, she had this little fire pit and we just made a fire and they said I, I danced like one republic for like an hour and I was like oh did I <laughs> they're like yeah it was great because <laughs> I had too much to drink I was just dancing around fantastic I've danced at I think two weddings as well because like everybody there can't dance so that's okay I think when it comes to dancing, like, you gotta, like, do, you gotta feel the music. Like, you can't go into, like, thinking about what move you gotta do unless you're, like, doing a choreographed thing. For me, I think it would be just, like, let me just see what shit I can make up as I'm going along. Like, what is the, what is the music making me do? And then I start doing it. And then before you know, you look like, 
You know, you you're uh, just had a whole all night bender drinking. Did I do any sports? Yeah, I've done uh, soccer most of my life. Played a little bit of basketball, mostly street basketball, but uh, I used to play sports in my yard all the time, but I've done, soccer's my main, my main thing. Are your videos the first take? See, that's cool, yeah, it's like you kind of improvise as you're going. Like, your music can make you do things you didn't even know you could do with your body. <laughs> I've seen people do like interpretive dance live too, and that was like, it was part of like a play, and it was pretty cool. Well, that was a different kind of dance right there. No, ain't nobody playing defense right now. I maybe I should change my class, but I like I like using cap bat. I didn't even see what my stats are for my first match with cap bat. Uh, are they good? I don't even know. I'm, like, I'm barely paying attention right now in this game. Because, like, the whole matches against the bots took me out of it. Probably do maybe one more match after this, guys. I'm getting tired. Oh, I gotta call it. It's a shame we couldn't get into matches earlier, though. Let's see. Let me play some defense, y'all. Drop off to win. Oh, they got it. They got it. That was a close game. Nice job, team. I think Cap at somebody I'm definitely going to, like, use, though. Time to time, for sure. Scored 480. Got 13 relics. Nobody got KOs. Nobody was fighting in that match. Everybody was just jumping around scoring. Leveled up cat bat almost. Need some blockers on this team though. That's right, Twitch actor. We got a few rounds under our belt now. Last one of the night. Um Then, uh, yeah, we'll call it. Catbat can be a blocker. Yeah, with, like, the, the homing attack, you can really, like, knock them off and annoy the hell out of them. I feel like you toss a burger or two in there. You slept? Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I can't get in a freaking match. I'd go to sleep, too. This will be the last one. Tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow should be AEW Fight Forever. Again, um... And if all goes planned, Double Dragon Gaiden, either before that or after. If that game doesn't show up tomorrow, then we'll probably play something on the 360 as well as AEW. AEW's probably going to get played tomorrow at some point for Wrestling Wednesday. So, 
expect that, if anything. At the very least. My friends. Don't know what time. It could be late again. How much whenever I can hop on. Trying to get us some beach balls. How's that? Come on. Oh wow, you can like get through the air with like those attack combos. That's interesting. I just want my beach ball. Grab some points here. Come on, team. Two fridges, really? Get that shit out of here. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Yeah, I gotta use the cat bats movement a little bit more. The higher you are, the bigger blast radius you have. Okay, cool. And you use Cat Bat as a blocker as well. People can cancel the dive bomb with a jump. Okay. Interesting. So there's a lot of like little intricate moves with... Yeah, I just gotta play more matches with Cat Bat. I could see I could do like some air... Like almost get more distance with my jumps by doing like the attacks in the air. We're doing all right with cap out. We're not like wowing the scoreboard, but we're doing we're getting some good things. All right. I believe we leveled up. Yes, we did. We got cap at off and running. That will do it for tonight, my friends. Time for me to go try to get some sleep. Um, so during the day, I might be a little busy with some some work stuff pertaining to YouTube and, and whatnot, but um, I think we're going to watch some more Twisted Metal tomorrow, which I'm excited for. That show has been really fun, uh, so I don't know what time I'll hop on tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see, but I should be on it either way. Thank you all for coming in tonight. Two streams, because the internet broke us up, but we reunited, as we always do. I um, appreciate everybody that stopped in tonight for anything. Those that watch on YouTube, watch the VOD on Twitch, lurking, however you do. Thank you so much. You guys make the channel what it is. I wouldn't be doing this without y'all. So take care of yourselves, everybody. Uh, be safe. Until next time. Zero. SMR award.